Hello friends, Pastor Dave here for our daily devotional on this Friday. You know what that means, we're going into the weekend. I hope you have some good plans, and I hope they include worshiping with us at First Brethren, 10 o'clock this Sunday. I've been reminded for a couple of reasons this week how early children turn into little philosophers and how important it is that we have some answers for them. Let's talk about that on Something Deeper. I was riding in the car with Jordan and Addie today. And Jordan's five and Addie's three. And we were driving along and we were talking about how their cousins are coming to visit us tomorrow. And after a little while, Jordan said, Papa, did you know it's never tomorrow? And in a way, it's, that's true. And I thought, that's pretty deep. He's, he's de thinking pretty deeply for a five-year-old. And yet, I've seen that again and again. Uh, I've had my own kids, when they were growing up, when they were very little, they would ask questions like, you know, can, how can God hear everybody's prayers all at once? Or, why is it so hard to be good? Or, I I'm a little bit good and a little bit bad. Just asking these questions about human nature and the world around us and how are we made and, and what are we like. And I think it's good for us as adults to do some thinking on our own so that we can come to some conclusions and give them some guidance in that. You know, every child has to make their own decisions for God. But that's not the same thing as saying, well, we're going to let our children make their own decisions about their faith. Usually when somebody says that, they mean, we're not going to give them any direction. We're just going to leave them out there for the wolves and the sheep and everybody else to fight over. And whoever gets them, gets them. I had one example of that when I pastored my first church. There were some parents that every time they saw us uh, at the grocery store or other places, they would greet us warmly and they'd say how they were going to come to church and they never showed up. And then one time, the father explained that they'd get their three-year-old child up in the morning and she was ready to go to church. And they'd get all ready and then she'd say, I don't want to go. And so they're like, what can we do? And I thought, well, you could be a parent and you could decide we're going to go. Those people who say we're not going to influence our children's decisions, I wonder if they send them to school. Or if they say, would you like to go to school? Obviously, we think education is important. For me, I think faith is important, too. I can't make my kids Christians. They have to make that decision themselves. I can't make my grandkids Christians. They have to make that decision for themselves. But I can show a good example, and I can give them my words of wisdom, whatever they are. Proverbs 22.6 tells us, Start children off on the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. One thing that is coming up is that Jordan's going to be baptized a week from Sunday on the 9th of July. And normally I would not be pushing to baptize a five-year-old because, you know, a five-year-old doesn't understand everything about faith. But the truth is, None of us get baptized understanding everything about faith. Because I don't think anybody in this world understands everything that God is calling us to. God reveals himself more and more over time in our lives. And so I don't think we have to have a perfect understanding to make that decision. And I didn't bring it up. Jordan did. And he kept talking about how he wanted to get baptized. So, we're going to have a couple people baptized on the 9th. I don't know if any of you are thinking about it. If you've given your life to Christ, the first act of obedience is going through the waters of baptism. And I think that's important. as a very, very powerful and important symbol that God has commanded for us to do. And it's also the prerequisite for being a part of the church. So, if you're thinking about it, there's a good example. But with this world coming up with so many different 
ideas, kind of abandoning the idea of truth. We need to know that there is truth and we need to share it with our kids because this world is confused and they need some truth. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, so much for your truth, your word, and the spirit that reveals your word to us. And I pray, Father, that if there's errors in our way of thinking, if we, if we don't understand you clearly, that you would correct us. And Father, that you would also teach us more and more so that you would come into more and more focus in our lives. May we know you more and love you more. And may we pass that on to our children and their children and their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. I love you. And again, hope to see you Sunday. And if you can't be here physically, at least be here online. Take care and God bless.